let s be a set of first seven natural numbers then find the number of possible functions f defined from s to s such that f m times n is equal to f m times f n for every m comma n belongs to s and m times n belongs to s you are watching brain explorers the world your brain starts working we have s is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 up to 7 and a function f such that uh, defined from s to s now we have to find all the possible uh, functions such that fm times fn is equal to f fm times n now suppose f is one of the function suppose there is uh, no restriction suppose there is uh, for some time let us suppose that there is no restriction like f m n is equal to f m into f n suppose uh, this is not here for some time so what are the possibilities we can choose any possible value for f1 any possible value for f2 any possible value for f3 and so on let f is one of the function so if we choose the values like we choose one for all the values then f f is a constant function this is also a possibility or or we can choose say some random values 3 4 5 6 and 1 1 well, this is also a possibility or and, uh, and any possibility is like uh, 2 3 2 1 1 7 6 etc in this way many of the functions f are possible so if we see how many choices for f1 we have for f1 we have here seven choices uh, notice that we are talking that there is no restriction for that case f2 also has seven choices in that case f3 also has seven choices and f4 f5 f6 f7 all these have seven choices and hence if there is no restriction then 7 raised to the power 7 functions are possible but now uh, it we have a restriction f m is equal to f m times f n f m n is equal to f m times f m n sorry f m n is equal to f m times f n this restriction is given over here now we have to take this in consideration so if we put n is equal to 1 so what we get we get f m is equal to f m times f1 now obviously we know that f m belongs to s this belongs to s and hence f m is not equal to 0 since it is not equal to 0 so it can be cancelled from both sides and we get f1 is equal to 1 now obviously this 7 raised to the power 7 is wrong and here we, one more thing we get that f1 is equal to 1 is definitely equal to 1 and hence we have only one choice look this one is the value of f1 but this one we have written that it has only one choice if it if there it was two even then uh, here in the bracket we have we would have written one choice okay so f1 has only one choice now if all other functions have uh, uh, seven choices then the possibility will be a seven raised to the power six this number of functions but this but this is not so over here look how we can write um f6 is equal to f2 times 3 which is equal to f2 times f3 and in this way we can write f4 is equal to f2 times f2 okay here now due to these two um, um, functions these two uh, f4 and f6 we are not allowed to choose all the values for f2 and f3 because if we choose 
सपोज सपोज इफ वी टेक एफ थ्री एफ टू इज इक्वल टू थ्री देन इन दिस केस एफ एफ फोर विल बिकम थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री विच इज इक्वल टू नाइन एंड नाइन नाइन डज नॉट बिलोंग्स टू नाइन डज नॉट बिलोंग टू एन एस सो ऑन चूजिंग अ रॉन्ग वैल्यू ऑफ टू वी आर गेटिंग इन इन वैलिड टाइप ऑफ एफ सो दैट्स वाई वी कैन नॉट चूज थ्री फॉर एफ टू सो वॉट आर द पॉसिबिलिटीज फॉर एफ टू एंड वॉट आर द पॉसिबिलिटीज फॉर एफ थ्री वी विल सी हेयर सो इफ वी टेक वी कैन टेक द वैल्यू ऑफ टू एफ टू एज वन एंड एफ थ्री एज वन वी विल से द कम्बाइंड वी विल सी द चॉइसेज फॉर एफ टू एंड एफ थ्री कम्बाइंड लीज दिस इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी हेयर इफ यू सी दैन एफ फोर विल विल हैव अ वैल्यू ऑफ वन एंड एफ सिक्स विल बिकम इक्वल टू वन इन टू वन दैट इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू वन वी कैन चूज एफ टू इज इक्वल टू वन with f3 is equal to 2 here also you can see that f4 is equal to 1 times 1 which is valid and f2 is equal to 1 times 2 which is valid we can choose a uh, combined value of 2 f2 and f3 as 1 and 3 so in this also you can see that uh, here 1 into 1 is valid and in the, uh, this case f6 One into three. This is also valid. Here, in in a similar way, we can choose up to one and seven. Means we can choose f two is equal to one, and f three is equal to seven. So that will also be a good possibility, valid possibility. Now, if we choose f two is equal to two with f three is equal to one, the type of function. So f four. Will become equal to two times two, which is equal to four. So we can choose this value two for f one uh, for f two, and um, here for f six, you will have one times one, which is which will be valid. Another value, another pair, we can take two and two. So here f six will become equal to two times two. F two is also equal to two. F three is also equal to two. So it is equal to four. And four belongs to S, so this is a valid case. And we can take um, F two as two and F three as three. But if we take F two as two and F three as four, then this is not possible because if we take um, this two times four as a product, it will give us eight, and eight does not belongs to S. So this is not. possible and hence we cannot choose this case okay so now we are done with our choices so look look uh, look at again look at the choices again for f1 we have one choice one choice for f2 and f3 combined we have these seven choices and these three choices means in total 10 choices for f4 we have no choice we why because it will depend on the value of f2 for f6 also we have no choice because it will depend depend on the value of f2 and f3 For F five, we have seven choices, and for F seven also, we have seven choices because their values are not depending on any other. So in total, we get four hundred and ninety. So this is our solution. Four hundred and ninety such possible functions are there. Don't forget to like and share our video. and for more such videos subscribe to our channel brain explorers thanks for watching